Well, we stepped foot in beautiful Las Vegas. Beautiful Las Vegas. Two feet running, and uh, man, it's a crazy to run into you. And for those of you that don't know, this is Jason Dent. Uh, he's a whistle nut. Whistle nut, Oli. That's, right. that's right. Yeah, yeah. The rodeo team. I mean, uh, yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's crazy because you're an Iowa guy. I'm a Midwestern you Iowa know? guy. Big brother personality. Big brother, for, yeah, yeah. Which a lot of people think you should have won a twenty-five thousand dollars. I know, you know, and I really feel like I feel like I should have too. But it's it's the way the cards fell. I mean, I ended up third out of the mix, twenty-five million votes. I still feel like it's a win, even though I really did want to win the America's Favorite. I, I'll take it. I'll you know, take third. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks, because within the Western lifestyle industry. You have won the hearts and minds. I have. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And I've gotten a lot of love from the NFR and my booth, you know, and a lot of the, I just, it's easy now. There's, I don't need an icebreaker. You know, they're like, if, if, I mean, it just, you make eye contact and, and the conversation starts. Man, you were awesome on Big Brother. Or, man, I can't wait to have you at my rodeo. Or, or you know what I mean? Or, you just did a great job. You know, are you, be, are you busy? Are you booked? How's Oli? How's the wife? You know, I mean, there's no such thing as an icebreaker anymore. So that's really cool. You know, it, it's nice being the icebreaker, and, and a lot of us rodeo folks are reality junkies, really. Yeah. And you were. You were a great fan of that show. And talk about how the, the process was to apply and, and what you still continue to live with by day to day from being on the show. I tell you, I was a... I, the whole decade of my 20s, I was, I was a big time... I, won, I was road bulls all over you know, traveling with some cool dudes, and I, and I was always trying to get on reality TV, but I had, that has since passed, right? I was really focusing on my career as a rodeo clown and an auctioneer, uh, and I was really, that's what I was really going for. I hadn't thought about reality TV uh, in the last five years. So, I, when, I, when I actually, you know, when, I, when they sent me a message on my ro rodeo team Facebook page, Whistle Nut Noli, they said, hey, have you ever thought about Big Brother? Uh, that, I thought, hmm. You know, no, I hadn't. Not for a while. So it got me, it got it back on my radar. So when they went through the casting process, I felt like it was pretty smooth. You know, because I just felt like because they had made the first step, it was really easy to knock down all the requirements. So, and it just kind of happened, you know, it was a, it was a long process. Uh, with a lot of steps, and it, it ended up in the right spot. If I could have won it, it would have been just the icing on the cake. It would have been, and, and you can't do something like that, and we're, this will be the, the last little segment that we'll do on the reality show, but um, before we get into your rodeo yeah. career, but you really can't be gone that long and, and have a show like that be your lifestyle without 100% support from your beautiful wife and family, your family and friends. Talk and neighbors. About what that means. Because there's a lot of things that TV can twist around. And, and, right? Oh, man. Right? Yeah. It, Context you, is everything. You, you were one of those controversies. Yes. But, you know, to have a wife and a family and friends that support you and stand by you is, is huge. It is. I mean, it really is huge. And not only that, but a forgiving industry. And that's the thing about, about rodeo. It's a, it is a ginormous family. And... Even with contracts signed uh, that I had to, to cancel, that's a big deal. I mean, and it's generally a no-no. But, they, but they're forgiving, and the industry's forgiving, and they, they allowed me to, to relieve myself that year out of my contract, and I told them it wouldn't change. I would come back in 2018, do those same rodeos, uh, because I owed it to them for letting me out to go on the show. So that was a big thing for me too, because if I didn't have the gr the good graces of the the rodeo committee stock contractors, I would have been in trouble. I wouldn't have been able to go. Then you have my my family, my wife, my son, my parents, my brothers and sisters that that allowed me to say, you know what, it's something that you've always chased, and now you have an opportunity. You should do it. And now, but but your your community. You know, Holly, I couldn't leave her to do all the bull chores and everything. Uh, w pregnant that I didn't know about, <laughs> right? But pregnant and, and with a, a two-year-old son. And you so, announced that on the show on yes, a letter. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I, I had no idea. 
I had did, no. Did I, she write that letter? She wrote the oh. letter because I, I mean we we've been we'd actually been talking about it, and I was completely confused on why we weren't pregnant. And I was like, if I go on the show, there's going to be three more months. Uh, and I'm like, I was just devastated because I, I thought, man, if she was pregnant, at least I'd know that that we you know that we 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 have we'd be having a baby soon. But if, outside the show, it was going to take however long to get pregnant. So. That was a huge issue. But the town really came in. You know, the rodeo world really came in for support. My family and everybody. And I, that's unheard of, I feel like. It's hard to get that type of honest, genuine, physical support. And so it's really a great industry that I live and work in. So It absolutely is. And like you said, the NFR and the committees and the stock contractors have been fantastic. And... Not only have you kept the contracts you had to go through to 2018, but you have had a tremendous convention here the last two days. Oh, man. You know, and, and I'm telling you, it's going to be, it is, and I don't want to give all the credit, you know, to, to Big Brother, but, but I will give it where it's due. And the thing is, is, is it kind of made Whistle Nut a household name? There's a lot of faces across the United States, Canada, and the world that tune in and watch Big Brother USA, and they they see this shirt. They see all the different colors: and the, orange, yep, red, orange, red, <laughs> right. And, and I'm telling you, they, they're like, "Whist, it's Whistle Nut." So now, when a rodeo committee hires me with my social media following, there's a chance that those fans of the show will now enter into a new realm of their life that they hadn't previously been into. And if the more people that we can get interested in rodeo, then the longer rodeo will stay around, and the better it is for all the 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 the, the patrons of rodeo. So I am super thankful that it worked out in a positive note for the rodeo world and 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 the and the spectators of the show. You know, the the watchers, the viewers. Absolutely, and and you know we talk about whistle nut. Yeah, but there's another. There's something that's after that and sign right there. That's right, right? Holy. And uh, he was quite the uh, the lovable and sad guy when you were gone. And TV really made it out there. But your wife, man, she did everything she could for your best friend, other than your family. That's right, Oli. Definitely, me and him spend a ridiculous amount of time together. I would say that I spend more time with Oli than I do with Holly. <laughs> if you really break it down, I mean. Uh, I spend a lot of time with that guy. We go everywhere on the road together. I mean, I'm with him in the morning. I'm with him at night, uh, you know, for the touring thing. And when we go on the road all summer long, I mean, he sleeps with me in that trailer. Uh, he's a super special dude, and he's very well warranted because he's an exceptional animal. I mean, they don't make bovine like him. Mm -hmm. He's a little yellow jacket baby uh, from, the double, from the Wrangler Rivets bloodline. I mean, oh. it's, it's crazy. It took a lot of time to get him that way, and I'm... I, they don't make another Oli. They don't make another Oli. But he really does. He's a, he's a tangible emotion for people that, that don't understand rodeo livestock and the rodeo world. When they, when they can put their hands on him, they don't have an opinion. They have a feeling. And a feeling is what people remember. That you, can, you, know, you can tell them stuff all day long, but how they felt is what they remember. And, it, and he touches people in a in just an emotional way it's outstanding it's i can't explain it enough until you meet oli mm -hmm. you, you you don't get it well and what a great ambassador especially with everything going on within the rodeo world and one of the best things that's ever happened to the sport of professional rodeo is you being on a major network reality show and bringing oli into it because there's a lot of misconceptions Absolutely. about how rodeo animals are treated. If you were to go to any ranch or to your house, those bulls... They're the money makers of our industry. Mm -hmm. We protect them with our lives. Yeah, and, and they're treated better than an ordinary house dog. Right? Oh, so my honestly. gosh, it's not even... And then they, yes, by, by leaps and bounds. And the thing is, is the PRCA, you know, they, man, they get a lot of credit, too, because the PRCA, as a PRCA barrel man and specialty act, you know, you have a standard to uphold. They don't want, I mean, I'm under their, under their label, right? And, and that's how I make my money. And they don't want somebody dipping on contracts, you know? So they allowed 
they allowed the, that to kind of, I mean, they get in the good graces of the forgiving process of saying, you know what, I couldn't tell them what I was doing and where I was going. You know, so, so it, it, it runs deep, but I think they saw the value in Oli as well. They thought, man, uh, as long as... as as long as Jason, you, I mean, they didn't know how it was going to go. Yeah. I didn't know how it was going to go, <laughs> right? But, but I knew how I was. And so, and I'm, and I'm glad that they, I'm glad CBS, you know, put Ole on there and, and allowed, allowed me to wear my jerseys and represent Rodeo in a positive way. I, I, because that's worth its weight in gold. Because you, you always want new people coming into your interests. Because you want to share the cool stuff about it. Yeah. So, and I really think there will be a lot of people... That, because everybody loves animals, it's hard not to, and and I mean, there's a lot of misconceptions, mm -hmm. but man, when you meet Oli, it just right out the window, I mean, yeah. it, you you fall in love. What has life been like uh, following the show? What what are your, some of your commitments that you've had to keep as well as your rodeo um, schedule? Um, you know, I I've done I've I've just. I'm, it's really into a lot of super good like charity thing. I'm an auctioneer too, and so that that's I've really seen a rise in that. They're like, man, we we, we want to have a charity auction. I do a lot of benefits and charity auctions anyway, but this way it's it it's like they're getting a a nationally recognized personality and and the you know the 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 process all in one. And that brings people to their events. It brings support to those to those organizations. So I feel like I can do them a better job now because just because of the exposure as well. So I mean, not only is my rodeo career uh, seeing a lot of a lot of new new rays of light, but so is my auctioneering because mm -hmm. because people are like, hey, that we watch that guy. You know, te technically, a lot of people know more about me than I know about me because <laughs> they watch me sleep and eat and. You know, make coffee, and you know they know some of my nervous tics and and habits that I don't even know. Maybe key words that I constantly say over and over again. I mean, I, that I that I would have never thought about, right? So, and I, I don't find it creepy, and I and I it doesn't bother me at all when people come up and say, "Oh my gosh, are you Jason?" From I'm like, absolutely, I am. Let's take a picture, please. Yeah, that you know, happened down in the lobby just yeah, now. Yeah, just now, <laughs> right? You can't get too far. And plus, I'm wearing my jersey, yeah, right? But I mean, I was in bib overalls and a ball cap. Covered in dust, working for Double Diamond Refractory because it, that's my brother's business, and all of his all of his workers are fans of the show. And I'm like, look, I'll come, I'll come down and help. And you know, we went in to eat lunch, and all of us were in there. We're all dirty, ball cap, bib overalls, and I bet there was 15 people in there um, that came up and were like, "Are you Jason?" from Big Brother, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh," and I mean, it was dumbfounded me too because I I had no I couldn't believe they recognized me. So that's, it's awesome. I love it. I love the recognition. It validates the show. Absolutely. And on closing, because I know that you got to get back over to South Point, you got a lot of stuff. Right, to we do got a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> and I'm having a great time. I, I could sit here and talk about it for hours. But you know what? There's a lot of cowboys back there, uh, and there's a lot of stuff going on, and I, that, and I, I hate it, but I just got to get. Uh, I hear you. What is what do you have to say to your fans that have followed you all show long and and want to follow you in your rodeo career? Tell them and give them a message. You know, I, I will say this: when the rodeo comes to town, or if the rodeo is close, go. Even if Whistle Nuts not there, but I promise you, I'm trying hard to get to all the major cities and across the United States. But go support your local rodeo and support. You know, the, the, the things that, that are near and dear to you, because that's what I do, that's what bleeds out through me, and, and if you like what I believe in, jump in there and, and make sure that you're getting your word out for yours too, because I'm telling you, it, it, I, I don't know, is there, a word, is there a word like genuinality or genuity? I don't know what the word would be. Uh, you know what I mean? But that stuff, that's, that's the real stuff. Uh, don't support it if you don't believe in it. But as you see, I, I'm a huge supporter of, of Rodeo World and livestock and agriculture. And go see it. Check it out because it's, it's breathtaking. Absolutely. Yeah. Close enough? 
Yes. Thank you, buddy. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I, I need to maybe rehearse yeah. a closing statement. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you know, I, I, I feel like I bobbled that one. No, terrible. you're good. You're yeah, good. okay, good. No, but uh, hey, I, I appreciate you coming over. And, you uh, bet. I'm Starting glad. the 2017 NFR off with the Rodeo Roundup and Warriors and Rodeo with a bang with the one and only uh, Jason, a.k.a. Wilson Nutt and... We need a picture. I, Holy, I know need a I picture. need a picture. Always awesome. He really is. I tell you, it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. I was, I was purple for a lot of days, from my eyebrows to my toes, uh, trying to get that guy trained up. But I'm best move I ever made in my life. He's absolutely outstanding. I mean, the, they're like full throttle saloon. The boys of the of Sturgis. Thought Oli was the coolest thing they'd yeah. ever seen. So I mean, all across the United States and Canada. There's fans of Oli, so be a fan of Oli and Whistle Nut and Ro Oli Rodeo Team. We'd love to have you. Quick, how can they keep tabs on you? Twitter is uh, Whistle Nut and Oli. Instagram, Whistle Nut and Oli. Facebook, Whistle Nut and Oli. Uh, just various, but it's all Whistle Nut and Oli. My uh, website is imaginerodeo.com. Uh, my YouTube page is Whistle Nut and Oli. So I'm trying to rep the brand Whistle Nut and Oli. You Google it, you'll find me. Go out there, like them all. Follow us. We're a good time. And you know what? If you got ideas, post them to me. Blast them to me through social media. I'm always interested in, uh, in opinions and ideas. You never know. I might adopt it, turn it into a, a clown specialty act, and I'll pay homage to you for sure. So I appreciate the support. I always need it. I always want it. And let's just continue to do it. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hitler near 2017 Wrangler National Finals Rodeo with the Rodeo Roundup.com Warriors and Rodeo and the one and only Whistle Night. Thanks, Jason. I Thank appreciate you, it. It's a great name. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>